Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change Bitcoin into Monero. Now both are cryptocurrencies but they work a bit differently. You have on one hand Bitcoin which is completely transparent and traceable. So if anyone knows your Bitcoin address they can theoretically look it up and can see all the transactions that have been done on that address and they can even check what you're holding. However Monero on the other hand is in this case the opposite. It is a privacy coin. So it's like your digital cash. If you're doing a transaction, no one else knows about it except you and the person that's going to receive it. And the other, like all the stuff around with the transactions, those are in public. No one can trace it when doing so. So for whatever reason you want to do the exchange, I'm now going to show you how you can do this step by step. Now this video already assumes that you have your Bitcoin in your own crypto wallet and not on a centralized exchange. And this video assumes that you have already a Monero address. However, if that's not the case, I recommend installing this and getting this ready before doing the exchange so that you can receive them either on the multi cryptocurrency wallet such as Exodus, where it supports Bitcoin and Monero, or you're going to set up a Monero wallet, as you can see right here. And so I'm going to put both links in the description box down below so that you can check it out. And I'm going to leave a link in the top right corner where you can see a video about a guide on how you can set it all up. And so when it comes to the exchange that I'm going to use, we're going to use simple swap, which looks like this. And the other one is called a change now. So the setup of both exchanges are pretty much the same. The only thing that changes are the colors. So you do not need to create an account when doing the exchange. Now, this is only uh, what I can recommend if you're dealing with like smaller funds. However, if you have larger funds, I recommend going with larger exchanges such as Trade Ogre or even Q coin. Now, in this case, we are going to work with smaller funds and I'm going to show you how we can now do this. So on the top, you can see that it says Bitcoin and on the bottom, it says Ethereum currently. And the same would apply to a uh, simple swap as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave Bitcoin since that's the coin that you're currently holding and you want to swap it. This is what it's called to do the exchange into Monero. So go ahead and change Ethereum. So click on it and then you're going to select Monero. And you're going to do the same on um, change now. Now, the reason why I want to show you both exchanges is because I recommend going with the one that's giving you the best rate. And so you will see this in just a moment. So what you now have to do is enter the exact like amount of Bitcoin that you want to exchange into Monero. So go ahead and open your wallet where you're holding your Bitcoin. And then you're going to adjust the amount. I'm now going with like 100 US dollars, which is about that much Bitcoin. Please make sure to adjust it. This will make everything so much easier. And then you're going to put this one on the top and it's going to convert it into like how much Monero you will get out there. Same would be with change now. And then check the number on the bottom, what you will get out there. So who is giving you the best rate? Now with change now it's 0 0.61, whereas with simple swap it's 0 0.60. So here you can see that change now is giving me the best offer. And then I recommend going with the exchange that's giving you the best offer. And so once you're all set up, you're going to click on exchange. Now it's going to ask you to enter your Monero address. And so again, this can either be from your Monero wallet or from your uh, multi cryptocurrency uh, wallet that supports Monero. So go ahead and copy your Monero address. This can be either just copying the entire address or use your QR code, depending on how you're doing it. And then you're going to enter it right here on the bottom. And then you're going to click on next. Now it's giving you the entire overview again and the address again and the estimated arrival. And then you're going to click on confirm. And here you can see again 
um, what, like how much Bitcoin you need to send. Make sure that this amount adds up with what you're going to send. Otherwise, you can come like across some like issues that it's not going to go through. So make sure that you're going to use the exact same amount, and then you're going to copy the address um, to your wallet so that you then can send your Bitcoins to this address, and then they will give you back the Monero so that they are going to do the exchange for you. So select Bitcoin in your wallet and then you're going to click on send. You're going to enter the amount of Bitcoin and then you're going to enter the address. Now please make sure that you're going to check the address like the, th like the first three letters and like uh, numbers and the same would apply to the last bit of it so that you know that you have the right address that you're going to copy and not someone else's or that it's not like going to end up to the wrong address. And then you're going to copy it and then you're going to click on send. It's asking for confirmation and then you're going to click on send if everything is all right. And so now we need to wait until you will receive your Monero. Now this can be within a few minutes. However, sometimes it can take much longer, such as half an hour, a bit longer than that. This depends on how busy the Bitcoin blockchain may be as it needs one confirmation, as it says on the top. And once that confirmation went through, it's going to move on to the exchange and then they are going to send the Monero to you. So let's go ahead and wait. And so once it went through, you can see that it says it was a success. You've done the exchange and you received your Monero in your wallet. Now it needs a few confirmations until it is spendable. And if you have, for example, the Exodus wallet, it does mention it on the bottom as well. And once the confirmations went through, this message will disappear. And there's now another thing that I do want to mention, and this is with a transaction ID, which right now you can like find at the very bottom. So this is the ID that you can copy in case you should come across any problems. And then you can message them in the chat right here in the corner and then tell them about your issue that if something didn't like go through smoothly or you're having any other issues, then you can chat with them, give them the transaction ID so that they can look into it and then they can help you to solve the problem. But other than that, this is how you can change your Bitcoin into more narrow. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. Helpful. And if you now want to learn more about cryptocurrency in general, I'm going to link some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!